Oh, you know, just uh, one of those days where you have to take half your engine apart. I'm actually um, taking the injection pump back out, which is... Um, it means taking out the exhaust manifold and all the, the coolant line and pre pressured fuel lines. So it's a bit of a pain in the butt, because uh, the access is horrible. Uh, and uh, So I'm just getting to the last step of getting the injection pump off. Yay! For the past few months, I've been dealing with diesel mixing into the engine oil. It's been a reoccurring problem and I've like spent about $3,000 on this problem and I've had the injectors rebuilt, I've changed the lift pump, I originally had the injection pump rebuilt which I now suspect that that was potentially one of the problems. It, perhaps the shaft seal on the injection pump is leaking diesel into the oil through that fitting. When I reinstalled the injection pump, when I ran the engine, everything seemed to be running normal and there's no sign of the oil level going up from the fuel dilution, so really good sign, so I kept on going north. And just when you thought you got ahead of the engine problems, here's a lesson. I managed to limp into my friend's dock in Loch Burrow Inlet, and uh, I had just enough oil to just top it off and uh, keep leaking for now. All along I thought I had finally fixed the oil fuel dilution problem, but it just turned out it was all leaking through the bilge, and uh, it just got worse when I ran the engine harder when we were going against the wind and the current. Um, and the gasket completely gave in. Here, you can really see where it had given in. It's actually quite interesting. Take a look at those awesome new solar panels. Uh, the system to hold it up is still a little, a little in progress. I had to add these uh, reinforcement bars and there's a track that can move back and forth for different adjustment. Right now I don't really have a, the proper um, leg for it. But it's much better once it's reinforced because like you can really see that without it the whole frame flexes it's really not built very strong look at that red tide it's, it might be hard to see on the camera but the water is completely red gonna head over to the the tidal grid over there. We're gonna go check it out and maybe tomorrow morning we're gonna haul out Oka. So this looks like it actually an excellent spot for a grid. My friend uh, Mark installed these posts so that you didn't have to lean right against the, the rocks. And it's actually a 
doesn't sink too much. Like I, the last place where I I uh, put my boat on the grid, if I stepped it in the mud like this, uh, I would be in up to almost my knee. So this is going to be much better because I I wasn't really able to um, to scrape the boat as much as I wanted to because it's like the whole keel disappeared in the water so or in the mud. So it's kind of hard to, to scrape any of it and there's still a lot of barnacles on it. We're just sure having some fun though. Here we are on the grid. We're just touching bottom now. So it's just a question of time now. So. I've got some uh, tires ready in case uh, it does like last time and lean forward, which uh, the lines are much better secured on, on there's like, there's awesome tie points all over the place. Though the days are long, twilight sings a song about the happiness that used to be. Soon my eyes will close. And I'll find repose And in dreams you're always near to me It's nice and smooth, much more of an even surface. I put a nice coat of gel coat on there and I had just enough paint to patch up the, the paint job so that it looks actually pretty good. So there's the wind. 
leaving. So that piece by the, the stern there is gonna slide inside that tube that you see there. I'm uh, gonna just get it through, lash it on so that it holds and like the, the piece that attaches to the quadrant is gonna stick out right here. And then the quadrant is then there resting for now and it's gonna pull down to here. So it's gonna be fun getting that wind vane up and through the hole and lashing on. Ta-da! And that's the somewhat finished product. So, you see the lines to the, from the quadrant, the line led the, through some really tight space up to... I still have to make some conducts so that these guys can run freely without having anything stuck on them. And then from the pulley to the tiller arm that would originally be for a nut pilot. I just used it to put the pulleys and then it's led back up to the cockpit, which just is temporary. It's just for now, it's going to eventually be led back to this hatch right here. But for now, this is functional just to have it functioning. Compass points to the south. I left my bounds to the north. I chose the wind to set the course. I don't care where I'm going. Let's run away, just you and me. Beyond where the eye can see, it's 
run away, just you and me. We'll harness the wind and we'll tame the sea. Sing out loud the tales of a drown to the rift of the breeze. We'll dance with the clouds, read the stars night and day till we reach land far away. We'll listen to what the waves have to say. They will. Show us the way, we'll follow the water line until the next sunrise. Let's run away, just you and me, beyond where the eye can see. Let's run away, just you and me. We'll harness the wind and we'll tame the sea. Let's run away, just you and me, beyond where the eye can see. Let's run away.